sun me a name I call myself far a long long way to run <clears throat> so a needle pulling Drink with jam and bread that will bring us back to dough. Hi, Dr. Brontex. How's your Friday? Dough. I'm trying to get my voice to not tickle. female deer. Hi, Jesus H. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Hi, Chronicler. Father. Dr. Brontex, you're having an exhausting Friday? I'm sorry. I hope it's a good kind of exhausting and not the bad kind. Grump, you have a filled with work Friday? Is it fun or is it not fun? Hi, Mikaelo. play to start playing a Christmas song there. Um, not quite fun, huh? I'm sorry. Um, I thought I was going to be all on time, but I, I spent some time, uh, trying to do some seeing if I could get words on stream for with t with sound so i'm going to test that a little later today during this stream hola dia lato como estas little drummer boy no <laughs> that's one of my least favorite uh christmas songs It sounded like joyful and triumphant. Hi, Jimmy. I don't know how to play it. So, uh, So, oh, I, um, I, right before this, before I started trying to mess with the, uh, words on stream audio, um, I was working on the cocktails page. If you have, um, Hi, E. James. Thank you for the follow and welcome. I've just barely haven't even sung one song yet. Um, and 
and I was going to tell everyone that I was working on the QR code from the vinyl. So if you have the vinyl of Death Dreams, um, you can locate the, the recipes for the first four cocktails. The first four songs on the album. Uh, oh, thank you, Chronicler, for pulling that up. Leathercraft Guy, thank you so much for resubscribing with Prime. It's amazing. Um, yes, you can order it there. And so it's got... So the... the, the it's not quite a document, it's just a page right now where you'll find the recipes. Hi, Koonsti. Happy Friday to you, too. Uh, Leathercraft Guy said resubbed last week, but the notification thing came up today for some reason. Interesting. <laughs> At least it came up, right? Dr. Brontex, I saw you said something about tacos. It's Friday. Tacos and sushi. Tacos and sushi. And antidepressant day. Yum. That <laughs> sounds delicious. Too hot today, Diolato? Hi, Hulkoki. Are you flirking? <laughs> Diolato's on a five stream streak. I bet it's more than that. It's it's a new feature, right? Hi Ruben. Ruben's twerking. Ruben's busy twerking. has a little slice of cake next to his name. But it's not from the Survival Guide channel. <clears throat> Ooh. Dr. Brontex is also on a five stream streak. to Brazil to see Taylor Swift and the hotel internet was unstable that's amazing Diolato how was it Working on the Patreon appreciation party. The patron appreciation party that's on Sunday. Jay Lightning! Hello! Is that Johnny Lightning? Is that the famous Johnny Lightning? Am 
Vampire Striker, you got your base pick today? Awesome! You're so welcome. Um, Diolato. Got the notification that I was live, but couldn't participate. That's okay. I mean, Taylor Swift, right? Hi, C. Stark. It is the famous Johnny Lightning. Who played drums here in San Antonio at the um, record release show for Death Dreams. And uh, how's it going? <laughs> Good to see you here. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll be doing it again sometime soon in the new year. Sea Stark, thank you so much, not only for the bits that I forgot to mention, but also for resubscribing for 27 months. That's amazing. Uh, sea Stark said that three people died from the heat at a Taylor Swift show? Concert? You can't really call it a show when it's that big, I feel like. Um, I did not hear about that. Diolato is okay, apparently. Um, well, let's open up the queue. Ah, Dr. Brontax gifted a sub to Johnny Lightning. Thank you so much, Dr. Brontax. Johnny, that means that you can use you can use all the custom survival guide emotes in the chat. You can use uh, spinning cookies and um, little bullhorns for a loud song. <laughs> Hi, August Steve. <clears throat> Chronicler pulled up the song list for everyone to check out if anyone wants to put in a request. I feel like we should have Johnny on the stream sometime. Like maybe he could play my electronic, not electronic, my electric kit? <laughs> Is it electric or electronic? I feel like it's an electric kit. But electronic drums, I don't know. But that would be fun. We should do that special stream with live electronic drums. Dillinger Nick yes <laughs> Johnny you found the uh, you found the base pick um, for those of you who are patrons if you're thinking about coming to the uh, gratitude party on Sunday, I might need to, I might need, if you're on Discord, I might be testing some games on there because I think we might have to have our party partially on Discord to play games. Zero lag, yes. I started looking in, uh, Missing Presumed. Welcome to the chat. You're correct, the world needs more electronic drums. Especially on Twitch. I think. 
think. Um, thanks for pulling up that Patreon link, everybody. Um, but yeah, we uh, we will be pl hopefully playing games, and I don't want there to be so much lag that it sucks for you. August Steve, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Missing Presumed. I appreciate that. I guess I should probably be practicing if, since there's nothing in the queue yet. Oops, that's not it. Where does, where does words, words, words start? Lago Steve. <laughs> Hi, Cormars. song in the request queue chronicler i won't start without you hype train success thank you so much everybody for that strong support started. <clears throat> A Moment by Survival Guide for Jimmy. Decided, but it's it earned 
purest love or the deepest hate, the answer clear as a sun. We know it's true. Thank you, Jimmy, for that request. Um, I think I might need to do a little bit of warming up. A little bit more before moving on. No, thank you, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy just sent me, uh, upon my request, sent me uh, some video from the Phoenix show. Um, he, he filmed some songs. I think he might have filmed all the songs. But uh, he filmed and posted songs from that show, and the sound was really good, I feel like. Ah, <laughs> Chronicler requested words. Word swords. Words. Word? Sword swords. <laughs> word sword swords. Chat, check out Survival Guide song list. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for the walls. <laughs> Your mind is all, my mind is always on swords. something weird today <laughs> I'll take swords for 400 Alex <laughs> I wish I could do a good uh, a good um, oh, I wanted to say Patrick Stewart but that's not right a good uh, Sean Connery <laughs> accent let's see I'm going to move up blood perfume 
for Diolato. Uh Right now, I think that'll be better than the walls for my voice. And maybe even words, probably words. Word, sword, swords. Um, oh, I forgot. Also, speaking of Johnny Lightning, um, I think we might do our Christmas song. We might do the a live performance of M and the 501s. There's one show that I might join them on uh, on the 23rd. Oh, Hulk Hokey requested pie. Dr. Brontax, everything's getting bumped up above the walls right now. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm going to do. Blood perfume, then pie, then words, then the walls. And the queue is full. Oh, let me get my uh, specific pie reverb going here. This one right here. All right, Diolato, this one's for you. All you gotta do is believe me. I love the way that you trust me. I love the way you put none above me. It's your turn. Prove that you love me. My words become your scriptures. Got the best evidential pictures. I know you better than you do. You know how much I protect you. that sounds so bad.
the brightest teeth in the room You can't say no When I slip a little bit in your blood Into my perfume You can't say no You can't Give me all the air you have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Diolato. Oops. Thanks. Thanks for that request. Uh, <clears throat> How cokey you live. You live, uh, you live in a high altitude now, up in the mountains. Singing at high altitude is really hard when you're, when you're not used to it. I've done that a number of times on tour when it's like I would be on stage, like say in Denver, and just huffing and puffing because the air is so thin. Oh, yeah. Grump said, went biking with my friend in Colorado, and this Florida boy could not keep up at all. <laughs> I get it. I totally get it. Um, <clears throat> Phlegm. <sighs> I've got phlegm, people. Um, yes. That type, that type of high, August Eve. High up in altitude. Florida has a whole other type of breathing requirement with the heat and humidity combo. <laughs> yeah, I feel that in San Antonio sometimes too, but it doesn't really affect my singing per se. Oh wow, Grump, you passed out from on the bike ride? That sucks. Uh, next, I'm going to do Hulk Hokey. I'm going to do your song, Pi. Let me adjust these cables here. To prevent extreme tangle. You had pie last night and it kept you up all night, Hulk Hokey? <laughs> I guess sugar can do that. Um, this sounds quiet to me. Slightly. Definitely let me know, though, if you hear, like when I'm singing, if you hear. I think it was fine. It seemed fine last, last time.
Wow, they make oxygen masks that simulate breathing at a high altitude? I have never heard of that. Sounds very uncomfortable. The pie, Hulk Hokey said the pie had chocolate in it, but what kind of pie was it? I need to know. I need to know. Um, I'm going to start the song, but I'm going to need you to fill me in on what type of pie you had. Not just it had chocolate in it. <laughs> oh, it was a pecan pie with chocolate chips. Yum. I like chocolate pecan. That's a good one. All right. Here we go. Pie for Hulk Hokey. stream thank you so much for coming by and bringing all of your amazing raiders with you um 
anyone who's not following Maria the Bean definitely should. Uh, thank you for giving those shout outs. Let me play you a raid song. And Maria, if there's a song on my list that you would like to request, please do. Um, also, totally understand if you aren't if you aren't uh, able to hang out. That is completely understandable. Here's a song for you and your raiders. Joe and Tesno and who else commented somebody maybe just Pojo and Tesno and Maria hello um oh and Berkews so great to see all of you uh stream was lovely I did a short little stream but it was lots of fun that's awesome that's awesome I was thinking as you um as you arrived, I was thinking about how when we raided you, you picked a song as, uh, from your list for us, and it was related to baking. I don't know if you remember that, but I was thinking, oh, that's funny, because I'm singing my song about pie right now. <laughs> While Maria arrived, and all the beans, um... Yeah, if you would like to take a look at the list, you can. It's short right now because I, I, it hasn't been long since I started the stream. And I often, um, I always start out with, by breaking my songs into ones that are less taxing. They're like warm, more warm up, it's lighter, lighter vocally. And that's where we are right now. So the list is kind of short, but. Oh, Maria requested My Man Hates Christmas. How wonderful. It's an original song. Um, I have a one song original side project called M and the 501s. And it's a country band. And um, I wrote this song to be kind of like um, Patsy Cline. It's very rusty since um, since it's been a, a year. I, I did play it last week, but it's probably still rusty because I didn't practice it. Let's see. Johnny Lightning drummed on it. Okay, I'm going to try it. Tesno, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Maria. Okay, here goes the Christmas song for everybody, especially for Maria and Raiders. I don't have an intro for it. Let's see. I used to walk down Christmas tree lane to see the lights shining and Santa riding his sleigh. Now there's a cloud. Doesn't know how to show. 
this year for me. Here's a bridge. Christmas Eve, the carolers sing of all the joy and all the love this season brings, but not for us. He's not that way now, Christmas morning. Like every other day, my man hates Christmas more than anyone I know. Can't stand the stockings of arts and mistletoe. My man hates Christmas. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for requesting My Man Hates Christmas. Uh, Johnny Lightning said, first Christmas song I've ever recorded, and it's my favorite. <laughs> You're, it's, so it's your favorite Christmas song you've ever recorded? <laughs> um, yeah, we recorded that. Oh, and I do have, I think, what did I do last week? MMHC? Oh, I didn't fix that that will take you to the distro kid thingy so you can find your uh wherever you listen to music you can find your streaming service but it is on spotify and apple music and all of that it's under m and the 501s the letter m thank you maria i'm so glad that you enjoyed that and thank you again for the wonderful raid and for bringing all of your people here. By Kima, hello. I saw you arrived and said, I'm with Doug on this one, but I would buy you presents anyway. <laughs> presents go along with the whole uh, hating Christmas thing. Hi, Sam. Um, let's see what's on the list next. We've got a brand new song that I just learned on Tuesday. A survival guide song called Words, Words, Words. That is on the long-awaited full album that came out in October. And I haven't learned, hadn't learned the song. Hadn't played it. Oh, hi, Paco. Hola. I hadn't played it since I recorded the demo. So it's going to be messed up. Sam. Hi, VR Realm. How are you? Welcome back after the raid on Tuesday. Um, Sam. I might need, I might request your help. I'm going to try to uh, figure out how to do Jackbox on Discord for the Patreon party. I need to see if I can remember this bridge. The party is on Sunday. Sam.
just need to remember these chords real quick. cycle. I don't know if you heard that. I'm going to screw up the bridge, but I'm going to try it anyway. For Chronicler, Twitch stream debut of Words, Words, Words. <clears throat> Is this the lion's curse? Solid gold, your words, words, words. better than I thought it would. Thank you for letting me uh, run through it a little bit. And thanks for requesting it, Chronicler. That's, it's really, really fun to get to do a new song from the album. Fun and exciting, because it's, it's a reality now. 
it's out there out there to listen to um vr realm said working on something in vr at the moment but have loaded your stream into world i am working on how fun that's awesome chronicler i'm glad you love that one and dr brontax the whistling part <laughs> yeah i'm so i'm i'm so stoked that uh that uh, i stumbled across the idea of whistling that solo instead of trying to incorporate it into the piano part that would have been tough And it just kind of sounded weird because those chords are not real. They're not, they're like very dissonant chords. So it kind of needs a different instrument to make it sound okay. Um, okay, okay. I'm going to do, I think I'll do um, Old Money and then The Walls. <laughs> if you don't mind, Dr. Brown Tax. And then we'll see how it's going. Uh, let's see. It's been a while since I played this. I feel like. Leathercraft guy. Thank you for this request of Old Money by Lana Del Rey. Blue hydrangea, cold cash divine, cash me a cone, and hot sunshine, red racing cars sunset at nine the kids were young and pretty where have you been where did you go those summer nights seem long ago so
Leathercraft guy for requesting that one. No, thank you, and you're welcome. Also, hi, Marcus. Um, okay, Dr. Brontax, it's finally time. I'm going to do the walls. Uh, and then maybe, I mean, there's nothing else in the queue. <laughs> so uh, if anyone would like to request a song. I didn't even realize I'm all tangled up in the bass cable. Not anymore. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong, Dr. Brontex? for Dr. Brown Text, which is a survival guide song off of the very first survival guide release. Thank you for your patience.
I was saying this the word um, respect right as I saw the word request, I think on my <laughs> on my on my song list. Oh, stream elements is just realizing that that uh, I went live. <laughs> Uh, typo on the command for the song list. Oh, 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 I see. I see. I see what happened. Chronicler fixed it. Um, thank you, Dr. Brontax, for requesting that and for being patient. I appreciate you all allowing me to, um, flip-flop the songs as needed. Um, I'm looking forward to my voice being strong again. Uh, I feel like... I feel like... I mean, I talked a little bit about it last week, but I, I just, like, when I'm feeling stressed... But who knows how, when does stress go away? It never goes away. It never goes away. Sometimes I, I go through periods of time where I'm not stressed. And it's magical. <laughs> Adulting is hard. I've been wondering how people do it. How do you do it? Like how do you do everything that needs to be done and sleep? This is a really important, I actually was thinking about this earlier this week, thinking I wanna get, I wanna get some uh, community knowledge here. How do you, like, work, keep your house clean, and feed yourself, and sleep? <laughs> Ciao, Leo! Okay, Chronicler has requested skulls. You all think about your answers to that question because I need to know. I, I think it's because, I think it's extra noticeable right now, like, because I've been thinking, like, after the record comes out, my life will go back to normal. I'll be organized. Everything will be under control. And it's just not the case at all. And I guess I've been lenient um, in a lot of areas of organization. And uh, now that I'm supposed to be back to normal, I'm just like, I can't do it all. And I don't know how to accomplish everything. Skulls for you by the Misfits. Corpses all hang, headless and limp. Bodies with no surprises, and the blood drips down like the devil's rain. We'll bathe tonight.
on my wall Hack the heads off little girls and put them on my wall I want your scars I need your scars I Get all those skulls in the chat. Thank you, Chronicler. And Dr. Brontex for throwing some skulls around. <laughs> you are welcome, Chronicler. Hulk Hokey requested still standing. starting to sweat. So I'm going to take this jacket off. This Marceline jacket. Can't really see the sweat that much. <laughs> it's not too bad. Maybe it'll dry up, maybe. I noticed that nobody has any answers about um, how to live. <laughs> it's noticeable. It's noticeable, chat. I feel like <laughs> maybe this means we're all in the same boat. Maybe we're all like, somebody help. <laughs> how do people do it? <laughs> Oh, Koki said I was listening to you ask that, and I just saw my own life flashing before my eyes. <laughs> um, Leo, it's I think it's because uh, of performing mainly. It's not it's not super hot in here. It's more that I'm singing and playing and and try and using my brain to stay coordinated um and i think it's it makes me sweat help computer <laughs> yes um oh leathercraft guy said what does normal look like for you you say things would go back to normal but what is normal yeah i think that's i think that's the problem is that i've been working on the album for so long that um that i thought the album was like keeping me from being organized at life, being on top of things. And I was like, oh, I'm working on the album, so it's fine. I'm doing my best, which is, I mean, I usually feel like that. I feel okay about things usually. And then sometimes I look around and I'm like, why? Like my gear isn't fully put away from the shows, from the record release shows in October things like that it's like the things that the things that um i mean there's a keyboard right there there's there's cables right there from the last uh sugar spun vinyl party and there's a keyboard <laughs> just sitting on the couch back there i used it in late october The things, the things that become part of the scenery or the background. Chronicler said, well, first Hulk Hokey said, basically you have to give something up. In my case, it's a good night of sleep. Uh, I don't like that solution. <laughs> Chronicler said, just lay back and enjoy the ride, brah. 
but Dr. Brontax pointed out, then it gets bumpy. Um, Bikema said, prioritize what needs to be done. What needs to be done. And as long as no one's going to die in the interim, anything that doesn't get done will still be there in the morning. I, I do like that. I think it is partially about mindset, for sure. About feeling like okay about things. Oh, I like that reasoning. Hulk Hokey said, when I get home from Comic-Con, I leave swag out where I can see it for a while to remind me of the fun I had. Maybe you're doing that subconsciously. <laughs> what about a show us your gear stream where you can put stuff that's out away when you show it? <laughs> that's a good idea. Why am I just playing this on repeat? There's something that I felt like I needed to do just now. I don't remember what it was. I think it's because I'm, I, I think, I, because I'm thinking about the gear that's not put away, I'm just like seeing it all right now. It's kind of on the other side of this, this setup. What a mess. Okay, Hulk Hokey, I'm going to try still standing for you. I'm going to see how my voice feels after that, because it's... It's a half blasty. By the action design. No, no. Before me, I'm going alone. Don't try to hold me back. I'm ready, ready, ready. Now that the lights are, colors get brighter at dawn. And I know what it means to me. What's worth less? And what belongs? I never quit my dream. We had everything 
cut my nails. Hokey for requesting still standing it's a fun one it made me think about how probably the next thing I should learn on Tuesday I don't know if my brain can handle another actually yet maybe I need to do something easy uh, but probably I should learn how to play fight me on bass see if I can do it at all because it seems like it's going to be really hard. Um, let's see. There's nothing in the queue. Feel free to add something. I'm going to skim through these songs and see if there's anything that I think might help me get to Blasty. Because I'm feeling pretty okay. Pretty okay. Let's see. Dr. Brontax requested laundry day, so I will do that for sure. Maybe, um, uh, let's see. What if after laundry day I do um, Little Mermaid? Um, 5150 is fine too if you want, Chronicler. And then I can um, open up the Blasties and we can just. I'll just use my judgment. <laughs> do you like how I have to come to that conclusion every time? I'm like, oh, hey, how about <laughs> if Hulk Hokey puts no, f no, not forever in the, uh, as the first blasty, it's going to get pushed, it's going to get pushed back. I 
just did an interview um, earlier this week with Q Magazine, like the letter Q, um, which sounded familiar to me. And then after I did the interview, I looked it up, and it's like a very major um, publication. was like, whoa, cool. <laughs> but I was kind of glad that I didn't look it, look it up until after, until after the interview. So I wasn't like nervous, but I could tell the woman who interviewed me was very professional. So that was cool. Grump, yes it does. You could do exclamation SR and then just type in help, probably. I think that might be the only song that has um, that has it, the word help in it. Um, Chronicler, never heard of Q. I did work for the company that puts out GQ, though. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't opened up the, uh, I haven't opened up the Blasties yet, but I will do that right now. Dillinger Nick. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, um, seems to be a long standing publication in the UK. It used to be in print since like the eighties and they cover like all the biggest bands. So it's kind of cool. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to use my judgment on this cue. <laughs> um, I don't know when they're going to publish it. They haven't yet, Leo. Um, I just did the interview on Wednesday. So it'll probably be, I don't know, a few weeks, I would assume. But I'll definitely be posting it when they, when they do post it. Unless it's bad. <laughs> Unless she's like, wow, survival guide, don't listen to it. <laughs> All right. Here's Laundry Day for Dr. Brown Tax. Sunsets again, empty and 
Thank you, Dr. Brontex. You're gonna leave, Grump? I'm about to do your song. I will I will just hurry into your song right now. Uh, you gonna get out of here enough overtime? Hopefully get back home before help I'm alive. Oh, do you I can bump something. Maybe. <laughs> you know what? I can play um I can play. What was it? Oh, Little Mermaid. I could do Little Mermaid and then help I'm alive. How about that? Mad Cat, hello. <laughs> you more Elvis? Did I do Elvis before? Well, since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. And down at the end of the street, heartbreak hotel. I can't sing that low. I picked it wrong. I picked the wrong key. Oh, good. That works, Grump. Then I will do that. Just tell me when you're back, Grump, and I will. Uh, then I'll play your song. I'm going to add. That song doesn't exist. Uh, requested by me. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome, Sam. Sam got some old boxes about a week ago. One box had some old posters I had printed at university. <laughs> One says Agent M. Like I signed it? Yeah, you should definitely post, uh, post that on Discord. That would be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do part of your world and then I'm gonna see what's next. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Look in her I've got gadgets and gizmos of plenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thing the bulbs? I got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want
that's the word burn when's it my turn when I love and love to explore out of the sea wish I could be part of Look what I found. I found the tiniest harmonica ever. It can only do one note. Uh, Dr. Brontex, thank you so much for the tip. I noticed it right as I started the song. Thank you very, very much for that. I'm not sure what the next goal is going to be. I know, don't swallow it. It is tiny. It is not too much larger than a vitamin. A new car! <laughs> For some reason, when I read that, I, I read it in um, Price is Right announcer voice. I heard, that's how I heard it in my mind. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, that's the way you meant it? <laughs> Great. Perfect. <laughs> um, okay. I think take the reins. I'm going to move Help I'm Alive until Grump returns. Uh, take the reins. Let's see. these chords right Oh, the chorus. time uh dr brontax and chronicler just want you to sing like a twitch slave <laughs> they don't even ask how are you <laughs> um uh i'm i'm good i'm trying to figure out how to how to be organized at life so that makes me sometimes feel not great. But um, aside from that, I'm pretty good. I'm getting tasks done. Getting ready for the Patreon party and for the holidays, sort of. Planning out what cookies I'm going to make. Uh, Chronicler has some trivia. Some people like to keep frogs as pets. Name me another animal that keeps a frog as a pet. Hello, Deck Toko. Thanks for the follow and welcome. Welcome to Survival Guide Music. Um, I'm about to... Uh, <laughs> Play a song for Dylan Jernick that I haven't played in forever. <laughs> Do 
Mad Cat, you're guessing no control. Okay. Oh, Deck Toko in the chat with a, an answer for the uh, for the trivia. Deck Toko said, I have heard that elephants can keep other animals as pets. Is it an elephant, Chronicler? Or is it a tarantula? <laughs> is that the answer? Is a tarantula the answer? A tarantula keeps a frog as a pet? I, I can't even imagine this. Does a tarantula, I mean, what constitutes the frog being its pet? Does the tarantula feed it? And like, make sure it has a nice bed to sleep in and stuff? It makes it, gets it a terrarium? Some water? <laughs> I would love to see an elephant that had a pet frog that like had a pet frog riding around on it all the time. Some monkeys adopt stray dogs to protect the clan. That makes sense. That, that makes sense. Oh, the tarantula protects where the frog burrows. Okay. Huh. All right, I'm going to try to do take the reins for you, Dillinger Nick. Did you say four months? Here we go. Just like the next, we struggle on and on in nightmares, but we're still marching, handcuffed to life again. Don't try, they only push you down. What's opportunity? You've got what you want. song I've played this song one million times in my life hmm. let's see what happens next is it the bridge or was it a double chorus and I screwed it up um, I'm just gonna go to the bridge thought you could get away from rules and regulations if you could just get away Dance, dance, dance. 
So sorry if that was your favorite song and I totally screwed it up. Hi, Pop Rocks. It's okay, I forget my own address sometimes. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I thought that song, like the structure of it at least, like maybe not this, the piano playing, obviously, but the structure of it and the words, those are like, it, it, they're like part of me. So I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Um, we've got a lonely chord up next for Empire Striker. It was worth it. The belty parts always tickle the nostalgia feels. Thank you, Dillinger Nick. I'm so glad. Thanks for requesting it. It's fun to sing. Probably I should do it more often. I have something stuck in my teeth. It's been there the whole set, obviously, because I haven't eaten anything on camera. <laughs> Keep thinking maybe I got it, and then I don't. Uh, dilemma time for Mad Cat. Hulk Hokey is cursed. He is going to lose his luxury hair. <laughs> okay. This food finally came out. Please help him. To lift the curse, you and your partner must eat a whole elephant. You must choose a partner. Dr. Brontax, he's Davy Havoc, or the Chronicler, he is Gandhi on another hunger strike. Choose one, and can you convince the one you choose to eat meat? <laughs> Chronicler said you already have a pick in your hand. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that to whoever is going to claim this space pick eventually. Uh-oh. One second. I swung the cable a little bit too hard. Lots of curveballs. Yeah. Um, let's see. Davy Havoc or Gandhi on a hunger strike. Which one can I convince to eat meat? I, I, I have a feeling that neither of them will help me with this. I mean, I'm not sure whether whether I feel like Hulk Hokey's luxury hair is worth the life of uh, an elephant. I mean, perhaps if the elephant is already dead and had nothing to do with this curse. <laughs> or maybe if when the curse was put on Hulk Hokey, then the elephant died. If it's like, if it was like, okay, you need to sacrifice the life of an elephant for Hulk Hokey's luxury hair. I think I would, I think I would say no. Not only is it very physically improbable that I could eat an entire elephant with just one other person, but it just doesn't seem like a good idea, you know? Um, although in this situation, I, I have to choose, right? Gandhi must be hungry, but he can eat less. Hardcore Davy Havoc eats meat, I bet. Um, baby elephant? <laughs> that doesn't make it much better. <laughs> um, I, I feel like... It, it, I feel like ultimately Hulk Hokey is gonna lose the luxury hair. <laughs> Dillinger Nick, you always come back at the most opportune moment in the conversation. Um, I think I would choose, I think I would choose Davy Havoc. Be 
because I think Gandhi is not only on a hunger strike in this situation, but also does not eat meat at all. So that's two things that I would have to convince Gandhi, not only to eat meat, but also to break his hunger strike. So, you know, Davy Havoc is at least eating at the time of this uh, curse. So I think I would use that as my criteria for choosing him. And also he understands the importance of hair, of like, you know, luxury hair. So, you know, Gandhi is bald. Those are my two, two reasons <laughs> for choosing Davy Havoc for this losing, losing challenge. <laughs> Dr. Brontax is Davy Havoc. I forgot. I forgot it was actually Dr. Brontax and Chronicler in this situation as Davy Havoc and Gandhi. So yes, I'm I'm choosing Dr. Brontex here. Uh Mad Cat, I hope that you have a spreadsheet going with all of the all of the winners and losers of every dilemma. Okay. Empire Striker. I'm going to play Lonely Chord for you. For you and your dancing dolphins. <laughs> of course, in one year, Dr. Brown Tax won one. <laughs> A Lonely Chord by Tsunami Bomb for Empire Striker. Thank you for that gift sub to Oh My Bree. Finn got stuck again. <laughs> Hi, Mystic Foo Foo.
Thank you, Empire Striker, for that request. Thank you, Sam, for gifting a sub to Oh My Bree. And to Oh My Bree for following. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thanks for the follow. Uh, Finn got stuck. <laughs> it's fine. You're so welcome, Empire Striker. <laughs> I'm gonna see why, why do I always screw up that one part? Searching for No, that's not right, is it? I might have to listen to that. I can never get that transition right, ever. <laughs> assuming Grump isn't back yet, so I will play Don't Feel Bad for Bikema. Yeah, last time that Finn froze, which oh, I think was last Friday, um, it took somebody else following to unfreeze it, but I'm going to try refreshing Let's see. Let's see here. Where is it? I never mess with the alerts. Okay, it's that one. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay. You click on it here. It's like when your basketball gets stuck, you have to use another basketball to get it loose. Exactly. It is exactly like that. Oh, my Brie, you're excited to be here. Thank you. I'm excited that you're here. You should take a look at the song list. Um, Dr. Brontax pulled it up there. Um, let's see if there's anything that you want to hear. And then you can request. <laughs> but then they both get stuck and then you run home crying. <laughs> uh, I didn't care I never have cared about basketball that much but I get it okay I hit refresh on it and it didn't do anything I hit refresh again it might be it might be legitimately stuck Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my Brie. There's been an accidental timeout on you. Please do not, um, please do not, uh, have your feelings hurt. <laughs> uh, Sam accidentally, yeah, it's so, it's so easy sometimes for that to happen, right? Remember when Paco, uh, dropped his phone <laughs> and, like, kept adding more time to the timeout? Oh, okay. So you know Brie personally. Okay. Oh, you're a mod in her chat. Okay, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Everybody step back and give Brie some room. <laughs> um, okay. All right. I'm going to do Don't Feel Bad for Baikima. Hopefully somebody... Hopefully somebody will follow 
to unfreeze. Finn. Although I really don't mind it that much. I'll just try not to go behind him too much. <laughs> Sam, you don't have to hide in a corner. Accidents happen. Uh, what am I doing? Don't feel bad. Oh, I meant to say don't feel bad, Sam. For Bikema. Who picks up smoking cigarettes as a full-grown man? So much so that it changes the color of his hand as the sun shines all around him he stews into rage shoving glass into his chest while shooting arrows of blame you took advantage of the chances that I gave you Second turn to seven, and the eighth time I forbade you. Don't feel bad, cause he hates everything anyway. He hates everyone anyway, and especially they. Don't feel bad, cause he hates everything anyway. He hates everyone anyway, and especially they. back I'm so glad I need to I need to get that um, dramatic punk rock pause it's uh it messes with my brain a little bit because it's got the shorter pre-chorus by like one phrase Am I messing with your brain? Bree, what happens in your stream? Sam has requested black velvet, which I did not expect. I mean, I should have, but I have never played it. 
Hi, Freezy Ball. Uh, yes, kind of the tail end of the stream. <laughs> I'm about to play Black Velvet uh, for Sam for the first time ever. So I'm going to have to, s I haven't gotten it set up where I can read all the lyrics at once. So I'm going to have to scroll. I'm going to have to scroll mid, um, mid song. Mad Cat, you have to go. It's late here. Sorry, I arrived late. Went out for dinner with wife. <laughs> yes, I paid. <laughs> but wait, this is a good one. You love fights. Who wins in a fight? Boy George, Liberace, or Amy Winehouse? I mean, I think Amy Winehouse. I think Amy Winehouse. I mean, she was really tiny. But I feel like she was also very um, strong. Strong and powerful. Tiny but feisty. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Uh, Chronicler makes a good point. Liberace wears a bunch of rings. Amy looks nasty like she would claw someone's eyes out. I feel like Amy would fight dirty. For sure. That's a tough one. Rings take it. I mean, he could... Liberace could just backhand anyone and probably destroy their face although Amy Winehouse had crazy long nails although they were probably fake so they would probably pop off of her nails I don't know I don't know hi heritage writer your money is on Amy oh this is in drop D, Sam. This is in drop D. You think Amy is right? That's tough. I don't know. She was so small. She was like 5'2 or something. But I do feel like she was definitely feisty. She... Can she use a bottle? <laughs> oh, but if she's drunk, Liberace. How tall is Boy George? Yeah, Boy George is also British. <gasps> Johnny Lightning is still here. Johnny Lightning requested Smoking Popes. That's awesome. First, you get to hear me totally destroy uh, <laughs> Black Velvet by Alana Miles, because I've never played it. Handy Andy, thanks for the follow and welcome. Taller, yeah, definitely taller than a Karma Chameleon. Dr. Brontex said he's six feet tall. That's, that's pretty tall. All right, Sam, I'm going to try it. I'm going to screw it up badly. Mad Cat, no problem. See you again next time. Have a great weekend. Seven bananas. Grump, I haven't played your song yet. It's next. Mississippi in the middle of a dry spell. Jimmy Rogers on the victual The baby on her shoulder. The sun is setting like molasses in the sky. The boy could sing, knew how to move. Everything.
that was not how I wanted it to go. Pre-chorus. Wait. Okay, here we go, here we go. The boy can sing, knew how to move. <laughs> Thank you, Sam, for requesting that for the first time. Love it. Love it. That was actually maybe easier than, um, than Help I'm Alive, which is up next for Grump, who has returned. Uh, I hope that was okay. <laughs> Thanks for the cookies and uh, blasties. Wait, Paco, weren't you here already? I thought I said hola to you earlier. Well, in any case, hola. Hola a ti. Help I'm alive. Okay, let's see. That song made me sweat. <laughs> um, <laughs> saying that reminded me that uh, I need to choose some songs for for the Patreon karaoke holiday 
gratitude party that we're having on Sunday. Um, and I kind of think I should do pull a Dillinger Nick on myself and maybe do a uh, CNC music factory. I just thought of it because it has that line that's like, gonna make you sweat till you bleed. Do you remember that song? I can't even think of what song it is right now. I have to go through the whole verse in my mind or whatever I think the verse says. It's just sweat, isn't it? Come on, let's sweat, baby. The music to control. Pump up the jam would be a good one, too. That would be... <laughs> I actually was truly thinking about doing pump up the jam. While your feet are stomping. Um, okay. I'm just procrastinating. Get help I'm alive next and then some smoking popes let's see let's see if I can pay attention grump have I played this song for you before it's a classically one that I usually screw up to late night 90s uh, there's some really good uh 90s jams pump up the jams it's I actually started a my own uh spotify radio station based on pump up the jams and it's good it's really good okay i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it grump
stumble They're gonna eat me alive Can you hear my heart beating like a hammer Beating like a hammer Beating like a beating like a hammer Beating like a hammer Help I'm alive my heart keeps beating like a hammer It goes okay when I actually pay attention to my own notes although the notes are very confusing. <laughs> Thank you, Grump, for that request. Uh, Sam, I don't know if I can do Mushy Love Song. I might have to do it softly. Up next is Need You Around by Smoking Popes for Johnny Lightning. I guess I can I guess I can muddle my way through this one. I don't I don't do it very often, Johnny. But I do love it. I'm not sure who you guys are talking about. Um Seems like maybe a comedian. Grump and Dr. Brontax. I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah, Leathercraft guy requested 99 red balloons, which is also in drop D. Hi, Barry Coopland. How are you? If I could see into your heart, then I would know. Just where to start Cause I'm lost And I need to be found Crazy as it sounds I need you around If I could stand Turn 
for requesting a song Johnny that's fun uh, and I really love singing that one so I appreciate it and you um, but who is she what's her name grump this comedian oh yay I'm so glad you loved it Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, Jen. Diane Morgan. Okay, yeah, I don't know her. Kunk on Earth. <laughs> no, I haven't seen it. I have not seen it. I saw you posted... I saw your comment earlier, Dr. Brontex, and I was like, is there a typo in that? Like... <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. 99 red balloons. My brain is getting a workout today. A serious workout. These lyrics. If I like pump up the jam, you might like the show. Huh. The song, though? Pump up the jam, pump it up. While your feet are stomping. <laughs> I, was I, I was just looking up uh, Technotronic. And they're from Berlin. It's a duo from Berlin. Okay, let's see. How do I play this song? That's, that's it. The lyrics, the lyrics are the hard part on this one. I've already messed up the lyrics so many times today. All right, I'm going to see what I can do, Leathercraft guy. Are you, Grump, are you talking about uh, Goldfinger? Or are you talking about the survival guide cover of this song? You and I in a little toy shop Buy a bag of balloons with the money we've got Set them free at the break of dawn Till one by one they were gone Back at base box in the software Flash the message Something's out there Flooding in the summer sky There's 99 red balloons go by this one would be great to have Johnny play on drums right I forgot this little thing Ninety nine 
we've waited for. This is it, boys. This is war. The president is on the line. As 99 red balloons go by. Leathercraft guy for requesting 99 red balloons. It's been a while. You're so welcome. Uh, look at all those 99 balloons, 99 red balloons that Chronicler, right? Was that Chronicler that put those in chat? Yes. <laughs> Dr. Brontax started. Johnny, you love this song too? It would be a lot cooler if there were drums on it. Thank you, Barry Coupland. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know the exact story, Leathercraft guy, behind the song. I know that it's a war song. I mean, they're, you know, singing about... Well, I mean, maybe it was... Since they were German, maybe it was the Berlin Wall? I don't know. Stretch reminder from Paco. Thank you. Oh. I haven't stretched once during this whole stream. So thank you for that. Um Sam, yeah, I don't think I don't think I should do Unless you want Do you want me to do my she love song soft? That's always difficult for me cuz I'm so used to doing it loud. But I probably should not um Oh, Leathercraft guy said, some balloons almost started war when they were released in West Germany and floated over the wall. I did not know that. Interesting. Oh. I need to stretch more often. Paco is correct. Everybody stretch. I'm going to do Lady Neptune and then for Paco, and then I'm going to decide what happens with your request, Sam. I only have this much water left. <laughs> so, let's see what I can do. Oh, whistle request. <laughs> so, okay. For Lady Neptune. This is the first time someone's redeemed a whistle request. Thanks for that, Paco. That'll be fun. We'll see how I can do on it, on this song. Are you ready? Lady Neptune. Whistled for Paco.
is it so low? harder than I thought it'd be. <laughs> <coughs> Paco, thank you. Thanks for the request for Lady Neptune, but also for the whistle request. I completely forgot to do the, uh, the bridge solo because of the whistling. <laughs> Your lips hurt already. <laughs> yeah, by the time I got to the bridge, I was like, ah, Gotta stretch them out. Okay. Um, let's see. Mushy Love Song? I did just get a vocal break. You're so welcome, Paco. Thank you. I appreciate you redeeming that for fun. Um, let's see. Mushy Love Song. Should I do it? Was it haunting by Kima? 
Yeah, it sort of like gives a weird sadness to the song, right? <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? I will do a so I'll do a quiet version, a soft version of Mushy Love Song to close this. And we'll just see how it goes for Sam. Because it's not every day that Sam is here. I guess it, I could leave it up to you, Sam, since you are in chat. Do you want me to... Is a soft version work for you? Or do you want it to blast? Do you want me to blast? I know you are often lurking. But you're not often requesting songs. A soft version works for you? Okay. You want what's best for me? Thank you. I was just thinking I might actually, we'll see. I, maybe I will feel like blasting it or parts of it at least. Maybe I'll blast the verses and not the choruses. I don't know. I'll start it blasty and see how it feels. How's that? Mushy Love Song by Plinky slash Tsunami Bomb for Sam. For our first day. Wait. Why does this seem so weird? Because this is in drop D. <laughs> Please hold. I was like, this is not right. This pattern is not right at all. I'm glad that at least we do have uh, Black Velvet and that worked out perfectly, doing Black Velvet and 99 Red Balloons. I feel like there might be another one too. A Tsunami Bomb song, maybe. I bought you or something? I don't know. Okay, this is right. <laughs> For our first day, we went to Denny's. We saw my grandma there, and she said she liked your spiky.
worked out. That worked out, Sam. The bridge is really the, <laughs> I think the, the, probably the blastiest part. Thank you for that request. And uh, for being okay with the softer, slightly softer version with the U2 mashup <laughs> for Diolato thrown in there. Um, so, I was going to try to get. I don't know what to do. Um, oh, first, oh, we didn't test words on stream. I need to, before we go, I just want to really quickly do test words on stream for the audio to see if I got it set up correctly. Thank you, Sam. But also, I was going to try to ha see if, uh, see if Anthony Fantano would play would play my song on his stream tonight, which started at seven. Started 10, 11 minutes ago. So, hmm, 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 what to do here? First, I'm gonna mute the bass because it's kind of buzzing a lot today. There we go. Um, decisions. I guess we don't actually have to play words on stream, but you can tell me, maybe you can just tell me if this works. Tell me if you can hear this. No, we do kind of need to play around so that we can see how off it is and whether this is a solution or not. Okay. Are you hearing the words on stream music right now? Um, we'll end it with one. Actually, you know what? Let's see. First thing I'm going to do. Oh, you can't hear it? Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, let me check if if he's even streaming. You heard you heard a hum, chronicler. Is it still going? Okay. Yeah, he is streaming. Okay. Good. It's not still going. Oh, they're listening to Green Day right now. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so if I... Let's see what happens if I turn this source on. How about now? Oh, it's working? Do you hear it? Yay! Okay, okay. So, uh, for those of you who this is your first time here, like Johnny Lightning, it's very low. I can turn it up. Um, I wasn't sure how... Well, it just faded out. I didn't want it to be louder than my vocal. Hi, Mikey! You're here just in time to play a round of words on stream. So, uh, so for those of you who are new here, how it works is it's a word search game and you just type the words into the Twitch chat that you see. And, um, you, every time you get one right, you have to wait for it to unlock you before you can guess another one. And basically we're just trying to guess all the words that we can find in this word search game. It's okay, Mikey. Um, 
<laughs> Did you see face? <laughs> Johnny? Uh, when it starts, don't use the exclamation point. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to hit start. And then I'm going to wait. I always wait for somebody to go first because I think there's probably a decent lag. And we're going to find out how long the lag is, if there's a lag between the audio and the game for you. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Oh, see, that's kind of loud. That's a long, that's a long word. Is meme not a word? Come on. Okay, there we go. Uh. Oh, Bree! Bree is tearing it up with that. How do you feel? This is the first time that we've had sound. just saw that one too, Sam, and Leathercraft Guy. Ah! Oh, nice, Sam. Great job. The last second. That was good! That was really good. So tell me, how was the sound for you? I was thinking about it earlier and thinking, thinking there's gotta be like a crazy lag. And then I thought about it again and thought, well, there should be zero lag. Right? <laughs> I don't know. The sound is good, so like when you're hitting buttons and stuff, you could tell that it was when you're get when you're guessing correct words, you could tell that it was making sounds because of I mean, I'm assuming you all know how how game sounds work. Cool. Well, this is awesome because okay, so what happens if I do this? Did the sound just turn off? Oh yeah, it did. I could see it turn off. But I don't have to turn it off here. If I just do this, the sound goes off for you, right? When the window goes away, the sound goes away, right? Okay. Cool, I figured it out. It took some finagling due to being on um, due to being on a uh, Mac. Um, how is the volume on it for you too? Like the music seems a little bit quieter than the, uh, than the actual like game noises. It was fine? Okay, good. Awesome. Thank you so much for, uh, for helping me test that. Um, so yeah, Leathercraft guy is saying there's some lag, but more in chat, right? Cause yeah, it is sometimes it, sometimes it shows, 
like someone actually gets a word before someone else, but it doesn't, it, well, that maybe is just when they're locked. I don't know. You want to keep going, Sam? Should we keep going? <laughs> we can. I can easily, I can easily turn it back on. Why not? Let's do it. Oh, I, you got first place. <laughs> okay, let's do one more round. Mikey says one more. Okay, here we go. That's a lot of letters again. Oh. <laughs> Is that not a word? Fish hook? There you go. <laughs> I was spelling it wrong. I put fish hooks. <laughs> Everyone saw hoofs. Okay, so it starts with a... Mm, probably a, either a K or an S. One more! Can we do it? really good great job <laughs> I know I really I agree with you Brie I really wish it told us what the one missing word was because sometimes I think it's a word that's like nobody would think of like some random you know very uncommon word that we've never heard <laughs> it's okay it's okay, Mikey and Johnny. It's a it's a team effort. We do. I mean, obviously, there's rankings here, but we're just trying to clear as many words out as possible. Um, yeah, something you'd have to look up in the dictionary. Yeah, it's not really fair when they do that. Um. Oh, is this a competition, Mikey? I mean, if you want it to be, even though you're bad at it. <laughs> A self-proclaimed bad at this game. Um, I think I'm gonna forego the potential uh, trying to get Anthony Fantano to play my song tonight. Um, I mean, I might go over there. Maybe we could still raid him, but um, I don't know. I just don't know what to say. to try to get him to play my song. I don't know. I don't know. I really want him to play my song. Um, you're good at other games, Mikey? Yeah, I bet. Word games are, are just kind of... they're it's Word games are like their own thing, I feel like. Uh, so, do you want to do one more? Let's, let's, let's finish it up with a w third... third round. Um... <laughs> Mike, you think I should say, do you know who I am? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's a good way to live. 
I don't think anyone should pull that card ever, actually. <laughs> but it would be funny. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do one more round. We can raid him, and I can ask, and if we're too late, or if they don't respond, we can raid him again next week. More on time. But this was important. I really wanted... I spent a lot of time today trying to get this sorted out, and uh, so, yeah. We'll do one more round, and then we will raid on over. Are you ready? Here we go. There's a fake letter, everyone. Oh! Is it the S? Or is it the... Uh, I think it's the S. That's so messed up. Whoa! Oh my Brie! Yeah, it's totally the S. Can't believe they did us like that. Johnny, the S is a fake letter. <laughs> and then I put it in my word right away. Emote! Yeah, there you go. Oh, dang it. I didn't realize the game was over. Oh, Tezno, you got that word right at the last second. Interesting. Interesting in chat how I put melee first and then Tezno got it. I'm cool with that though. <laughs> that was good. That was a lot of letters. Uh, oh my Brie came in with omelet. I feel like I'm pretty good at spelling, but omelet is a word that I always spell wrong. It makes me think that maybe they had the other spelling, because isn't there, can't you do like O-M-E-L-E-T? Like a shorter version. <laughs> Brie, you're a foodie. Mikey, you got top three this time. There you go. Great job. Oh my Brie, you killing it. Um, okay. I would love to continue playing this for a long time. And I could. But I shouldn't. Yes, that's what I was thinking, Mikey. Um, but maybe nobody put that in. I don't know if that was... I don't know if that got accepted or, or not. I don't know if anyone tried omelet like that. I didn't think of it. Um... Keep going till we lose? We never lose. We only have lost once. So that could be a long time. I don't think we should keep going, Sam. <laughs> I think we should... Uh... I think we should... <laughs> Leathercraft guy loves to ask the Magic 8 Ball actionable things about what should and shouldn't be done on stream <laughs> but um i oh leathercraft guy okay if you're gonna ask the magic eight ball it could only be for one more game because i need to go do some stuff like you know 
continue working on other things that need to get done. <laughs> Grump, you have a coin flip app for important decisions? It's a good idea. Uh, Leathercraft guy. I do need to do laundry, Dr. Rontax. <sighs> Tesno Pesno said, stuff. <laughs> Are you questioning what stuff I have to do? <laughs> uh, okay, Leathercraft guy is asking the Magic 8 Ball. Should M continue to procrastinate with this game? It's a good question. It's a good question. The Magic 8 Ball will tell us the truth if I can read it. You're nervous, Mikey? <laughs> Is that because you want to keep your ranking? Or because you want to play again? Okay. Should I continue to pro procrastinate on this game? Should M continue to procrastinate? It says, oh wow, it's so hard to read. Um, without a doubt. <laughs> it says without a doubt. Okay, so we got one more round before I need to go. Here we go. The eight ball has spoken. <laughs> uh, Leathercraft guy is number three total overall. Are you going to move up in the ranks because of the eight ball? Or otherwise? We'll find out. <laughs> Unless someone else uses the eight ball again. Uh, I think it's limited. It's limited to like every 30 minutes or something. Bree is killing it. Okay, here we go. Continue. We got this. There's a fake letter. Oh, that was the word I saw, grump. Oh, I think it's the L. It's the L. Oh, there's a lot of words for us to get. Oh, oh, right. There's no L. I'm so sorry. I'm screwing everybody up telling you there's no L when I put an L in a word. It's the P? Okay, it's the P. I need to be... I need to be more, uh... Careful. Broccoli Rabe, huh? Oh, somebody got that already. Dang. I feel like I screwed us up by telling people not to use the L. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, you did pass. I feel like we should do one more now but I'm just going to go ahead and start it. I feel like I ruined it. Okay, here we go. Let's hope that it's the X, right? But that's a lot of U's. Hmm. 
This is super hard. <laughs> I saw that. I thought of that too, Sam. I feel like they are trolling us with this. Really good. Everyone's doing really good. <laughs> what if it is the X that we're supposed to use? <laughs> Sam, a Luig. That doesn't really help. What was it? Okay, well at least I didn't at least I didn't uh what? <laughs> Okay. Well, that was a very hard one. That was really hard. Uh, and unfortunately, yes, words, words, words. <laughs> Mikey, you did great for somebody who, who doesn't, um, who doesn't think they're good at the game. You got third place. <laughs> yes, I get it, Johnny. <laughs> We all get it. <laughs> well, most of us, at least. Um, okay. I need to get going. I know, Sam, you, wanna, you want to convince me to keep playing. That's just not a good idea right now. But uh, you all did amazing on that. And thank you for helping me test the sound. That was very important. And I'm so happy that it's a success. So we can play it. We can play it. And uh, now you have sound effects. Instead of it just being silent and you having to hear me be like, hmm, hmm, what is it? <laughs> Yes, the noise was pleasant, I'm sure, as Tesno said. Um, yeah, okay. So, first off, let's appreciate the mods. Um, we've got Dylan Jernick, Chronicler, Paco, Dr. Brontax, and Sam. Our mods, our awesome, awesome mods. Yes, Tesno, we're going to raid. Actually, let me make sure. I'm trying to get my song played on the needle drop, but I don't, I'm not, definitely not. I think oftentimes he has chat set to um, subscribers only because he's got a lot of viewers. <laughs> Johnny said raid like the spray. Um, so on Twitch, what happens at the end of a stream, I mean, you could, you could do it in the middle of the stream, but, um, you, I can take all of us over to another channel that's streaming right now. So if you, all you have to do is just still hang out and then we will all go and see what someone else is up to. And on Fridays at seven o'clock, the needle drop streams which is Anthony Fantano. He, and he, um, plays everything that's, well, not everything, but a lot of stuff from, for new music Friday, like the, all the biggest artists. And he has a segment 
I think, I mean, I've seen it before, um, but it's been a while, but he has a segment where he plays ba- uh, music that you can submit yourself. So like you can submit your own music for him to listen to and for everyone to rate. Um, and I've been trying to get him to play. I've been trying, I've been submitting. I haven't been like getting annoying in chat. I really don't want to do that. I don't think that's a good way to go. Um, so I planned to raid him earlier, but now we're really late. So I don't know. I don't know if we should, I don't know. If, I don't know. I just don't know what to do. Let's see who else is streaming. Well, I mean, Aaron is streaming. EBX Aaron. Words on stream kind of ruined it, but I also really, really wanted to... You want to raid him, Dr. Brontex? You think we should raid Needle Drop? We can, and if we just go in maybe next week, if we do it again more in a more timely way, I can say something at the beginning. I don't know. Oh, is it anyone in chat today? Hi, AJ. Thank you. Good to see you. I know. Um, well, that's okay. I'll be streaming again. Uh, Crimson Fuerza. Thank you for the follow and welcome. We're. I hope you've been hanging out um, and lurking because the stream is ending. We're about to raid. Oh, let me turn on the credits. I'm a bit um, out of sorts. I'm not quite organized today. Uh, okay, there's my credits, but where is the song thingy? Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, I am not, I'm not really Tesno. Uh, I'm not really asking you to say anything because it's not even like the record came out today. I don't know if he's still doing that segment. I don't know. We'll see. It's a very popular channel, so it's not like he really does a lot for uh, people who raid either. Uh, oh, Hulk Hokey put the rum-soaked pecan chocolate pie recipe in Discord. Thank you for doing that. That's amazing. Um, same to you, Mikey. Let me set up this raid. It's Oh, it's okay. It's follower or subscriber only chat. But I am not wanting to bombard him with our request. I mean, he's like, listens to Green Day and they rate Green Day, you know? So we could just hang out, maybe. <laughs> Basically, don't be annoying is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Otherwise, he might be like, I'm never playing Survival Guide. Thanks for letting me know that I should never play Survival Guide. Um, anyway, thank you all for being so awesome. I hope you have a really awesome weekend. Mikey, Hulk Hokey, Tesno, um, AJ, Johnny, and Jen, if you're still here. Um, who else that I have not mentioned? Grump, um, Bree, Leathercraft Guy. Thank you so much, everybody, for playing the game and helping me with that sound. And um, anyone else who I missed? Empire Striker. Oh, I hope that you played Empire Striker doesn't look like you did next time there will be another time um if you're still here <laughs> okay we're gonna get booted over so let's go ahead and raid thank you all so much you are so awesome um see you next week and pachanga